Hello everyone, I'm the Dino Gamer and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Primal Ops. So let's catch up where we left off last episode. In the last episode we defeat we finished chapter 7 where we defeated the Dracovenator. So now we're on chapter 8 where we huh, where we found the Adriceratops nest. Hope I pronounced that correctly. We must defeat it now, finally. So, before we do this, we have some leveling up to do. So, we have enough DNA to rank up Acrocanthosaurus, so first let's do that. 10,000 coin, quite a lot but uh, for a pretty significant stat boost. So new rank for Acrocanthosaurus, and 20 keys, and we're on Sanctuary level 10. I'm not going to level it up though, cause that seems like a waste of resources. Let's see, is there anything else I like to level up? Nope. We can level up our character though. Adriana Santos. So, looking at the 1 and 2 upgrades, the suppressor SMG and the t racking boots, that's not particularly good. But what you really want is the level 3 and 4, the arm pad and the visor. Unlocked at level 61 and 91 respectively. Those are really great, so I guess that's what she's the third character you unlock. We unlock the trekking boots at handler level 31, so let's reach there now. So we can get a level 31 and 32. She's a bit stronger, but the main thing here is the trekking boots. You can upgrade it once, not the only once. Hmm. You can also upgrade the Suppressor SMG to level 8. 20% damage against unaware enemies, which is pretty decent. So, no. Co Ooh, we have some achievements too. Yeah. So, that's 6 amber. Pretty nice. So, without further ado, let's go right into Chapter 8, Mission 7. Subdue the wild dino. I'm going to trade out Trudon for Antarctica Pelter and Adrusaritops for Homocephaly. And let's hop right in. We've received reports of a wild Ag Agusaritops in the area. I cannot pronounce that. Be careful, she's scared and might attack. Interesting. Let's move forward. Around this building, it's a pretty good amount of area to hide since she's pretty fast with that ramming attack. I'm guessing it does a lot of damage. So, first, I'll summon the Acrocanthosaurus and it goes the wrong direction. Nice. Oh, 20, 40 damage. That's not great. I'll hide in this building while I summon an tactical pelter. To hopefully protect me. I have no idea. Ooh, there she is. I'll just go on this side of the building. Some of my Acrocanthosaurus once more. And hopefully my Antarctica Pelter does a good job of protecting me. Oh no 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 no. Oh. And she has barely lost any health. I should be more careful. Okay, Antarctica Pelta again. This is much higher than I thought. Summon Antisaurus again. No, 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 no. This is not good. They are not doing anything. I need to stay far away. Far, far away. And African Antisaurus is down already. Well, that's not much of a health, is it? And I'm dead. I am so dead. How am I alive? I'll just stay here. Yikes. Get this way, get this way. Around tight corner seems to be the trick. Hopefully this crate can't be destroyed. Acrocanthosaurus is doing significant damage actually, if I can just stay alive. 
And I missed the sprint button there. 26 damage, 23 damage from the Pumulus Sephiri and I am dead, I am not dead, I am not dead, I am dead now, I'm dead. no, summon Akantasaurus once more, I'll just stay here, oh, that was the closest battle we have all chapter, defeated the Aetriceratops, whatever this dino is. And try to share top soy family dino. That's what they'll put in the thumbnail, cause no one knows what an Aquaceratops is. Great job. We'll send a team to come pick her up. That was a really close battle. But a great team to complete it with. Not great rewards as usual, but that's how the end of all these chapters go. Terrible rewards. I have to say it's a bit difficult to get Dino XP and Handler XP. Ooh. Chapter 8, normal complete. Continue. Chapter 9 unlocked. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 levels in this chapter and we unlock the Truodon. However, as you know, before this game reset, I unlocked Trudon in the previous set of chapters. So we have 20,000 coin and 1,000 of each type of Dino XP. Pretty nice. Well, that seems to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and until next time, see you later.